Will now driving down a freeway when suddenly you hear a loud pop only to find this a bullet hole in your car. That's what happened to one woman on the Gulf Freeway. Now she's got a warning for other drivers. Jonathan Martinez joining us live with a story you'll see only on two. Jonathan, frightening stuff there. Yeah, really, Bill, it is. This family tells us they were driving along the highway following a fun day down in Galveston, but all that quickly changed after they heard that loud bang. Then things turned frightening once they realized what it was. I couldn't imagine what would have happened. And just. I'm scared to even go out now. It's a recent ride home. Marlene Palacios, who didn't want to show her face out of fear, will never forget. It came through there and it hit on that corner over there. And this is a reason why a bullet hole now sporting the side of her car. It was devastating. I, I no words can explain the way that I felt. It was it was horrible. Palacios was driving northbound on 45 with her mom Wednesday night between Fuquay and Edgebrook when suddenly they heard a loud bang. I checked my mirrors real quick and um, there was nothing in the back. I thought it was an object that a car maybe had thrown at us or something. When they pulled over to see what it was, they spotted the hole, jumped back in the car and rushed home to call police. I just started crying because it's crazy. Any little stop that I would have done or anything, it would have probably hit me or my mom. Palacios isn't sure if the shot was fired from someone driving close by or from the side of the highway, and she's warning others to be on the lookout. I'm glad that I'm letting people know what's going on so they can be careful and, you know, watch out. And investigators did find a bullet fragment inside that truck, but beyond that, police do not have a lot of information to go on. They are urging anyone with information about this shooting to call them. We are reporting live tonight from Houston. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.